हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द एलेवेंथ एपिसोड ऑफ जुमला 2.5 कस्टम कंपोनेंट डेवलपमेंट सीरीज इन द प्रीवियस एपिसोड वी हैव सीन हाउ टू ऐड कस्टम टूल बार आइकॉन इन आवर कंपोनेंट लाइक दिस इन दिस एपिसोड वी विल सी हाउ टू क्रिएट हाउ टू वर्क विथ एस क्यूएल और माई एस क्यूएल इन योर जुमला कंपोनेंट सो ड्यूरिंग इंस्टॉलेशन वी विल इंस्टॉल आवर कंपोनेंट एंड ऑन आर इंस्टॉलेशन वी विल uninstall or drop our table so let's review so we have um, three trigger option like installation updation and uninstall of our component so in this three stage we can specify which our sql file will run by the joomla so during installation so um, we can write like create table updation like alter table sql query or insert some dummy data or required data and during installation drop table so when somebody will uninstall we want to drop our database so there is no garbage data okay so for this reason we need to specify some sql file we can create uh, specify more than one sql file for install for update for uninstallation okay so let's go so under administrator components we have to specify all the sql file so install dot sql this will be executed during installation on install on install.sql yeah and update.sql so the name can be different you may enter any file name but it's better to follow some naming convention so let's open this file at first let's check our uh, current joomla database so log into your joomla database Let's show databases. Sorry, databases. Our Joomla database is this one. So use this one. Now now show tables. So these all tables are present in my current Joomla installation. Okay. Now here you can see this is called the prefix table prefix. so this will be different from one joomla to another joomla so that from outside user cannot guess what is the actual table name because uh, in every joomla there is a called users table so from outsiders can guess the user table name but joomla provides us a prefix name so this prefix name can be different from one joomla to another joomla so for this reason anybody cannot guess what is the users table name so every time when we create our table we will specify the table name but we don't know the table name that the user is installing your component so joomla provides a method that joomla automatically translate our some code to joomla current prefix system so if we use hash underscore underscore joomla automatically convert this to current joomla prefix like for this demonstration i have joomla uh, my joomla prefix is this one so if we mention something in our sql query joomla automatically replace by this one okay if my component is installing by other guy whose uh, prefix name is like this so this will be replaced by this okay so during installation we want to create a table called post so if you um create a table then you should follow some naming convention like this one prefix underscore com name that is component name underscore table name so if you follow this syntax then all your component table will be grouped together let's view 
so here you can see that I have installed a QNA component so they used their component name prefix so they are all tables are grouped together so you can easily identify the list of tables here I have used one component JMM it has two tables you also use this format so you may follow this format okay so using this format we will create a table so write create table it's better to write create table if not exist not exist and now your table name so for prefix we need to give hash underscore underscore and your component name our mycom and post that is table name now we have to specify our field that is id integer 10 not null auto auto increment primary key okay and one more field title varchar 250 not null and body is text so leave this so now we have created our install dot sql file so when somebody will install our component this query will be executed so if this query executed what uh, table will be created so joomla automatically replace this by existing prefix system so if i install in my system so hash underscore underscore will be replaced by this one so this one underscore mycom underscore post okay so let's check the ex um, currently the table is not exist describe underscore underscore my comp underscore post so table does not exist so now we have to write the installer sql now when somebody will install the component it should remove the table so drop table drop table if exist exist and our table name so this will drop our table from the system Joomla ok so we have defined the install update install uninstall and we have not defined the update in future tutorial I will show you the update this will be executed query when we somebody update our component so we have defined our SQL file let's save this now we have to specify this file in our manifest file so let's open your manifest file so now we have to specify the three section that is install uninstall and update install install we have to specify the SQL file will be executed during installation and under SQL we will specify different file so dot SQL so the name can be different here I have written the installed SQL you can may use different but it's better to follow the naming convention so in this way you can write multiple SQL file like 2, 3 etc ok now you have to specify some attribute like character set if you are following normal uh, then uh, it will be utf char set utf or if you are using some unicode then it will be different and uh, driver we are using mysql ok and similarly we will define the update and uninstall although we have not used the update so update and uninstall ok so we have defined three during installation install.sql file will be executed during installation uninstall.sql will be executed but if updation update.sql but we have not defined anything now uh, we have to specify this file name in the administrator section because we have placed 
in the administrator and Joomla will also copy this file because during installation the Joomla will need this unstall.sql file ok so here we have to define in the administrator section so file name stall.sql let's copy this and paste update and uninstall ok so let's review so we have created the three file sql file in the backend component section install.sql uninstall.sql and update.sql in install.sql we have defined the create table query that is it will create a table called mycomp underscore post and during installation it will drop the existing table and during uh, updation we have did nothing and in the manifest file we have specified the install update and uninstall section where we have specified our SQL file and also we have specified the files to be copied like install update and uninstall dot SQL file in the administrator component section so let's create a zip file overwrite now let's uninstall the previous component now extension manager install browse my component upload and install so our component is installed now yeah my component is working now let's review the database tables so again execute this query describe our table name now this time you can see the table is created so our install.sql query is working let's review the uninstall query is working or not so for this we need to uninstall the component so manage select the component and click on the uninstall ok I think there is some problem oh we have written some wrong syntax like exist it will be exist so let's um, do this sorry uninstall exits exists so let's create a zip file or you can update so let's override the existing one ok so let's review the table exist or not yes the table is exist you can see now uninstall the table sorry uninstall the component so uninstall so the component uninstall was successful now let's view the table is exist or not now here you can see the table does not exist that means our uninstall dot sql query is executed so in this way we can execute our custom query during installation and as well as installation time so thank you and in the next lesson I will show you how to insert delete data how to update data from our component thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel thank you